In this problem, Paul, Steve, and Jessica are playing a three-way tug-of-war. Paul and Steve are pulling as shown in the picture. With what force and in what direction does Jessica have to pull in order to keep the system in equilibrium? So we have Paul pulling here with a force of 300 newtons at an angle of 45 degrees. Steve is pulling with a force of 400 newtons at an angle of 20 degrees. And Jessica is also going to join in and try to keep the whole system in equilibri equilibrium. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw on Jessica's force, and we're going to have to kind of make a guess what direction it's in. Since I don't know, I'm going to make a guess that it is in, let's see, let's call up positive and to the right positive. I'm going to make a guess that it's in this direction. So here's Jessica's force. And again, we're not really sure what direction it's in. We'll find out in the problem. But if my guess is correct, I should get positive numbers for my answer. If my guess is incorrect, I should get a negative number for my or one of my answers. That just lets me know that my guess was incorrect, and that's fine. So we also know that in this problem, everything is in these different directions. So we're going to have to break all of our forces into components. So Paul is going to have an x component and a y component. Steve is going to have an x component and a Y component and Jessica is going to have an X component and a Y component. Now we can figure out what Paul and Steve's components are. So Paul's X component is going to be 300 times the cosine of 45 degrees and this is going to equal 212 newtons. His Y since the angle is 45 degrees is going to be exactly the same. 212 newtons. Steve's x is going to be his force of 400 newtons times the cosine of 20 degrees which ends up being 375 newtons and Steve's y component is going to be his force of 400 times the sine of 20 degrees which is equal to 136 newtons. We can now use these in our sum of the forces equations. So we can say the sum of the forces in the x direction is going to be Paul's x force plus Steve's x force minus Jessica's x force according to our picture. This should be balanced out to be zero. We can plug in our numbers. We have, let's see, 212 plus 375 is what Jessica's x force has to balance out. So her force in the extraction is going to be 587 newtons. We can do the same thing for the y direction. So we have Jessica's force in the y plus Paul's force in the y minus Steve's force in the y is going to be balanced out to be zero. Plug in our numbers. Jessica's force in the y is going to be equal to Steve's force in the y, which is 136, minus Paul's force in the y, which is 212. So Jessica's force in the y is going to be a negative 76 newtons. And again, all that means is that her y force is opposite what we thought it was, so her y force is actually pointed down. Now we want to find Jessica's total force in, her, in the direction of her total force. So we can make a final triangle out of Jessica's forces. We know our guess here was incorrect, that Jessica's force is actually acting at this downward angle. So there's Jessica's force at some angle theta. So Jessica's force, we can just use the Pythagorean theorem, is going to be, so her force squared is going to be her x force squared plus her y force squared. So this will be 587 squared plus 70 or negative 76 squared. So her force, if we do the math out, is going to be equal to about 592 newtons. And then we want to find the angular force acts at. In this case, you can actually use sine, cosine, or tangent since we know all three sides of the triangle. I'm going to use tangent. So I can say the tangent of the angle that Jessica's force is at is equal to the her y force divided by her x force, her opposite over the adjacent. So this is going to be 
equal to 76 or 587. And then we can say we can take the inverse tangent of both sides. So we got if we take the inverse tangent of the tangent, that just cancels out the tangent, and we get theta, which is what we're looking for. If we take the inverse tangent of this side, we just get the inverse tangent of 76 over 587, which ends up being equal to about 7.4 degrees. So we get that if, in order for Jessica to keep this system in equilibrium to balance out Paul and Steve, she must apply a force at 592 newtons at 7.4 degrees below the horizontal as shown.